Cyclone Vayu is intensifying at a significant rate at this time, now a Category 1 on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Scale, with winds of 75 miles per hour and a pressure around 979 millibars. It's at 16.4 north, 71.1 degrees east at this time, and on the CDPS scale, we're looking towards this landfall, which currently forecasted by the GFS, is on Saturday. If it makes landfall, it could do it at a stage 6 uh, catastrophic on the cyclone destruction potential scale. As you saw there, the factors involved. Uh, here is the storm right now, its current location. Uh, this is as of 6.30pm Indian Standard Time this June the 11th. Um, and there is the wind field, higher winds and uh, larger wind field to the south and west. It's currently 153 miles from Ratnagiri, 220 from Mumbai, 348 from Surat, 408 from Rajkot and 638 miles from Karachi in Pakistan. The storm is likely to progress up the coast towards the northwest and then we don't know exactly what's going to happen after that. The models completely split between uh, a landfall along the coast of Gujarat in India or even in Pakistan or for the storm to cross the sea towards Oman. Those yellow areas you just saw there are the chances of tr likely tropical storm force winds in the next 48 hours possible. Um, and this is what we expect. This is what the GFS model is putting out at the minute. And you can see it grazing the coast there. Although some models, I must stress, take the storm into Gujarat towards the north, continuing on inland. Uh, but the GFS has it stalling out a little bit further on and landfall there on Saturday, not far from the border with Pakistan, and then moving in towards the northeast. And again, one more time to stress, the models could still take this storm out towards the west, towards the Arabian Peninsula and not affect India at all. Sea surface temperatures look like this, around 30 degrees Celsius, which is very warm for tropical cyclone development. That is never going to be an issue with this one. And here's another look at the wind field, what we expect over the next few days. Yellow areas that you see on the screen there are hurricane force winds, um, and they're just off the coast there. The tropical storm force areas reaching land by Thursday, um, and then as we get to the weekend, some of those hurricane force conditions could reach areas of land in northwestern India. That is just one model solution. Other models have something different, and because it already is a Category 1 hurricane equivalent cyclone, uh, it could reach Gujarat province with hurricane conditions. So here's another look at the chance of tropical storm force winds in percentages, 30% in all of these locations and 15% in Karachi. Uh, you know, very uh, uniform percentages there on the screen and that is because there's a huge amount of uncertainty as to what exactly is going to happen but it is going to develop pretty quickly, the storm isn't moving that slowly, it's really getting um, it's motion going towards the north. You can see again the model run there. Um, GFS still wants a category 3. Um, we could be looking at category 2. It's probably the middle ground what we're going with at the minute. Wind shear remains fairly moderate towards high actually. Sea surface temperature is very warm and you can see those track forecasts there as well. Um, to be fair those three main models on the screen there, GFS, CDCX and HWRF all do take it into land over India. So there's another look now of the satellite imagery and you can see how it's been developing in those last few frames. This is a 12 hour loop and you can see uh, we don't actually have the visible right now but on the visible imagery you can definitely see the eye beginning to form. There is an eye in there and you can just about make it out there on the infrared channels too. Um, just a little bit of um, weakening there on the northern side but I imagine that it will consolidate once again very soon on that side. The southern side is certainly the by far the strongest in this cyclone, still just off the coast of India. We'll keep you up to date with more updates. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.